Oh my god, shit is really getting heated up in this bitch. Woo! So almost half a year ago, I made a video where I discussed a Sonic cinematic universe because someone involved in the Sonic movie, I've forgotten who because it's a while since I made that video, basically said their dream, their goal was to make a Sonic cinematic universe like how we have the Marvel Cinematic Universe or DC, where it's like a bunch of different characters and they're all getting their own little roles and shit like that. So it's not just Sonic Movie 1, Sonic Movie 2, Sonic Movie, etc, etc. Well, today we just got an interesting piece of information. This is coming from Go Nintendo. It says, Rumor, Paramount considering a Dr. Robotnik spin-off film. So it says here, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie ended up being a big hit with both fans and critics alike. We already know that Paramount is working on a sequel, but rumors are floating around about a spin-off project as well. Industry insider Daniel Richmond is reporting that Paramount is considering a spin-off film that will focus on the antics of Dr. Robotnik. Obviously this movie would retain Jim Carrey in the role of Robotnik, but there are no details on what path the story would follow. The follow-up to Sonic the Hedgehog will no doubt pull in some big numbers, but a spin-off shifting the focus of Jim Carrey could do equally well. I like how they said shifting the focus of Jim Carrey instead of Robotnik, because let, 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 let's be real here. Like, I'm sorry for those of you who liked Sonic and Donut Lord in the movie, which I didn't dislike them. They were cool. But Robotnik carried the movie. Jim Carrey carried the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. He was at least 60% of the reason to watch the movie, in my opinion, leaving like 30% for Sonic and then 10% for all the other characters, essentially. And now that 10%, like nine goes to the to the to the crazy dude who, you know, the guy who believed Sonic was real before everyone else. Although they cut out some of the really good deleted scenes, which is unfortunate, but still, Jim Carrey really was the one who carried the movie. So if they really want to take the Sonic Cinematic Universe thing seriously, you know, instead of them giving one to like Tails or Knuckles, which I guess would satisfy a lot of hardcore Sonic fans, they're gonna go with Robotnik first at least to test the waters of spin-offs because it's Jim Carrey, which means people are gonna watch for Jim Carrey even if they're not hardcore Sonic fans. Like, I remember vividly when the first movie was coming out, there were people that didn't give a fuck about Sonic who said, yo, I'm gonna see this shit because Jim Carrey's in it. It was a very smart move bringing him for the movie and using him for a spin-off as well just to see Jim Carrey in his element. Yeah, that casual market is going to be set with that. And because it's a spin-off as well and it's not focusing on just Sonic and it's focusing on Robotnik's life, they could bring in so many other actors that we didn't even think of that also have their own clout that will bring in their fan bases as well, meaning this movie could do exceptionally well. Now, I have not watched Joker, the movie. I have not watched Venom. But from some Googling, it seems that Batman was not in the Joker movie and Spider-Man was not in the Venom movie. So if they do do this spin-off, it would mean that Sonic probably wouldn't be in this movie at all. He wouldn't even show up as a cameo or anything. I don't know. Maybe they'll just throw him in there just to get Sonic fans to watch more because, I don't know, maybe Robotnik wouldn't be enough for them. But if they were really to just delve into Robotnik on its own, that would be so sick because they could go into levels that I don't think they've even gone into in the main series. I don't know about the comics because I don't read those things, but in terms of the main series, there's things we could see. Like, maybe, we don't even know his, his actual age. Is he like in his 40s or in his 50s? I don't know. Maybe we get to see his childhood. Like, we get to start off the movie with Robotnik as a kid, him getting bullied in school, like the whole process of how he became evil. Maybe some strict parents who helped mold him into the Robotnik we know and love. Maybe he got burnt. Maybe he had a girlfriend and she, like, cheated on him and it made him upset. Or, a wife that died or like they could do some insane level shit like really delve into like Robotnik and what made him who he is and maybe his antics as a like you know IQ of 300 dude like with some sciencey shit and whatnot. It'll be interesting to see maybe he started off as a good guy as a hero a nice person and then he some event made him turn bad and then he wanted world domination like he didn't feel like he had power in his relationships it was like i'm gonna have power over the motherfucking wall you know what i mean so they could really do some next level shit with this i'm assuming that if they did it it would probably take place before the original sonic the hedgehog movie because there'll be like a backstory like setting up everything it would literally be the origin story of robotnik i just imagine them delving into the relationship between young robotnik and his dad and like wait no screw his dad his granddad. Talk about his granddad, like Gerald Robotnik. Like they could probably get Frank C. Turner, you know, the guy that played the crazy guy in the first movie, to to play that guy because he looked kind of similar to Jim Carrey. I remember people got him mixed up in the past. And then Maria. They could bring Maria into the movie. <laughs> She'd still be alive at this point. 
Oh, get get Lacey Chabert, get Lacey Chabert to play Maria. She put she voiced Elise. Come on, in some way, in shape or form, Elise's spirit could be brought back. Get Lacey Chabert to do Maria. Come on. Imagine, yo, imagine if Robotnik as a kid had a pet hedgehog and maybe the hedgehog ran away or some shit. When in reality, the parents probably ran it over by mistake and lied and said he ran away. But then it, it creates a hatred of hedgehogs or some shit like that. Or maybe a fox ate his head shot. I, I don't know, I'm just going all over the place right now. We're talking about a time period where Sonic's probably not even born while this movie's taking place. I guess Shadow would still be there, you know, Maria's there, right? Like, they c the shit they could do, oh god. But yeah, things I really want to see, I want to see like a kind of like, if you remember the first Incredibles movie, one of the greatest movies of all time, and in my opinion, the best Pixar movie. I want to see a Syndrome type origin story. Like, not exactly the same, but like, a guy who's really into like inventing things and he's like a kid just inventing things in his bedroom on some Dexter's lab shit. His parents are probably none the wiser and he's just another kid to them and you know. If Eggman is canonically like in his 40s to 50s, then that probably mean if the movie was to come out right now that I was probably born in the 1970s. So we'd be able to go into like 1970s shit. Like the whole like aesthetic of the movie would be like 70s themed. And then it'll probably go into the 80s as well and the 90s, like, the music would, you know, fit that as well. Like, it would be, like, such a sick thing to pull off if they really do it right and delve into the character of the psyche of Robotnik. Which I guess they'd probably be calling him Ivo at this point because he's not going to be going by his last name at this point. So, maybe Eggman would be, like, the nickname they give to him, like, in the school playground. You know people are ruthless in school, so that was probably his school nickname, Eggman, or some shit like that. Like, then again, he was skinny in the movie, so actually that probably wouldn't happen because he was now about to, like game the way at the end there's so many things they could do with this like in a way i'm more excited for this than another sonic movie because like i mean i guess they'll add tales to the sequel i mean i made a whole video describing what i thought would happen in the sequel i don't know if we'll see knuckles in the sequel but in a way like going into eggman's like psyche and like his history could be way more interesting i wonder who they'll cast for young eggman though oh that's a good one shit they should get matt bennett the guy the guy who played robbie in victorious Oh no, the guy who played Sinjin. The guy who played Sinjin? Oh, he should be Teenage Eggman. Oh shit. No, that has to happen now. Oh my god, like, I'm just, okay, I'm going a bit crazy right now. But it's just, there's so many possibilities, like endless possibilities of what they could do with this. This is actually, to me, more exciting than another Sonic movie. Maybe I just fuck with Jim Carrey a lot, so I, that's probably why I feel that way. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, would you like to see a Jim Carrey spinoff? What other characters would you like to see spinoffs for? And do you believe that Jim Carrey was the highlight of the first movie? Or do you just prefer the Sonic? Or maybe you prefer Donut Lord? I don't know. But yeah, man. Jim Carrey spinoff. I really hope this happens. I'm definitely watching this shit if it gets announced. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Subscribe to the non-Sonic channel. Link in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So, Doremi out.